Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Okay. See, as per NIST, there are two, uh, two vendors which is basically available around us. One is the NIST and another is the ISO, International Standard of Organization and National Institute of Standard and Technology. So these two vendors have actually given the definition of the cloud. <clears throat> and as per them, cloud is a model, right? And as specifically right now talking about the NIST, cloud is a model. Okay, so and uh, definitely you can say it's a business model, it's a cost effective model, right? So and anything you can actually say, mostly everything is true about the cloud because the cloud is basically giving us lots of different sort of benefits there, right? So according to them, cloud is one of the model which is going to enable ubiquitous, it means you can actually access services from any of the location, uh, convenient, very easy to utilize. Uh, all you require is just a web browser to access the cloud services. And it's an on-demand self-service. Okay, so on-demand service, that is another benefit of the cloud is, right? So cloud is it's basically a model which enable ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand, access to a shared pool of configurable computing resource. Now, what is this shared pool? See, uh, first of all, we need to understand that when a cloud providers, right? So there are two entity which is involved in the cloud. One is the cloud provider, who is basically going to offer the cloud services. And the another is the cloud consumer, who will be consuming the cloud services. So these are the two entity most of the time involved, right? So when cloud provider is offering services to you, remember they are offering you the computing services. Now the point is because cloud provider is offering services to millions of consumers around the globe, it is not, not possible for them to offer services through a single hardware. It means they are actually having a huge bunch of hardwares which is combined together and offer to the customer, right? So cloud is a model which, where we are going to enable uh, simply ubiquitous elements. We can access services from any old location, convenient and on demand. And that services is offered through a shared pool of configurable computing resource. It means the providers are actually utilizing some huge number of hardwares, different set of hardwares, through which they can actually offer services to their consumer, right? So that is what exactly in the cloud providers do, which is rapidly provisioned. Now that is one of the another important point, which is rapidly provisioned and released with minimum management efforts. It means to release those services, we don't require any sort of interaction with a cloud provider, simple. If as a consumer, if I require today any set of services, I will simply go and request over the cloud portal. So there is a cloud cloud portal we have. Portal basically it is helping you to interact with the cloud services. So with the help of that portal, we are able to interact and we are able to manage the cloud services there. So this is what the definition given there as per the NIST. Okay. And if you wanted to have uh, 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 this, information in the form of documentation there is a document available which you can actually simply refer to okay which is published by the nest itself so as per nest cloud is a model which is going to enable ubiquitous convenient on-demand network access services through a shared pool of configurable computing resource which can be rapidly released with minimum management effort or service provider interaction right now definitely from the examination point of view, it is not it is not compulsory that you should remember the definition of the cloud. But yes, all you have to remember that when whenever you are utilizing the cloud services, cloud is actually composed of you very many different components. Okay, all those components are going to group together, and you are able to deliver those services to the consumer itself, right? Via those grouped computing services. Okay. So this is what exactly going to happen when it comes to cloud. Now, remember, when you are utilizing cloud, there is a one more definition given there by ISO as well. And that is basically discussed under the ISO documentations. 
So if you reference the ISO documentation, specifically 17788. So that is the documentation available for the cloud from the ISO. Right. So according to them, cloud is a paradigm for enabling network access to a scalable and elastic pool of shareable physical or virtual resource with self-service provisioning and administration on demand. Moreover, same sort of definition here also, we have what we had just seen in the NIST, okay, with definitely with little bit different words involved here. So as per the NIST and as per ISO, the almost definition is same only. So there is no such differences. And again, in the examination, you're not going to be tested over the definition. What mostly you're going to be tested is basically their essential character. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.